Hello, this is Greg Finzer with Kellerman Software. This is an introductory video on NUnit. This video will cover the following topics. What is NUnit? Setting up NUnit? Creating a test class? And running tests? NUnit is a unit testing framework that will allow you to create automated unit tests. Automated testing has many benefits. The primary benefit is that higher quality code will be produced, which in turn decreases the cost of defects in a project. If defects are found early, they are less costly to fix. The first thing you need to do is go and download NUnit, and then install it. Go to www.nunit.org and click on the download link. After NUnit has been installed, the NUnit framework.dll needs to be added as a reference to your project. Here is the path. Because this path is difficult to remember, I normally create a folder in my solution and copy it there. The example project we are going to be using today is on CodePlex. It is compared.NET objects and already has a set of NUnit tests that we, we will be using as an example. First, let's add a project to the solution. And it has to be a class library. And we don't need class one. And here we're adding a class. And we need to add a using state for, for the end unit framework. Actually, we need to add the reference first. I'm just going to copy the path out of Explorer. Now we can add the reference. Each class has to have a test fixture attribute in order to run, and it also has to be public. Each method has to have a test attribute. So we're going to create some test methods here. The assert statement allows you to verify that something is either true or false or equal or not equal. So there we've got a positive test. We're going to create a negative test. Just going to fail it. So that will always fail. You can do something like that with the NIF statement. Now this would normally fail because we have this exception, but we're going to put an attribute on here, expect get exception, and you have to have the type of, and now this will actually pass. And then the last test that we're going to use
Now this would also fail because we're throwing this exception, but we're going to put an ignore attribute on it. And this will simply not run. So we're going to go ahead and compile it, and now we're going to run it. NUnit has a built-in runner, which we're going to go to. And we're going to open up our tests. And all it is is just the compiled assembly that we're getting. And we're going to run it. So we've got two that pass, one that fails, and then one that did not run. All right. We've got a couple other ways that we can run our tests. The other way you can do it is testdriven.net, which is a commercial product. It's free for personal use. So we're going to go in here, and to run a method, you just go, you right click, and you do run tests. So that's going to run one method, because we selected inside of the method. Now if we were to run somewhere in the class, but outside of a method, it's going to run all of them. So there's our two pass, one fail, one skipped. The other way that you can run tests is with ReSharper. That's also commercial by JetBrains. Excellent tool. And it gives you these wonderful icons on the side here. You say run. So there just ran one test. If you want to run all of them, you can run that way. You can also uh, do debugging with ReSharper. So you can do debug, set a breakpoint, debug. And there it is. I'm just going to hit F5. And you can also do debugging with testdriven.net. So we're going to go in here and do the same thing, except test with debugger. That's the same thing, but with testdriven.net. So now that we've covered all that, we're going to go back to the original test project and now go through a couple things there. So we have this compare objects tests that are part of this compare.net objects solution. Um, you can have as part of the text fixture these different attributes to um, basically that will appear in your runner if you just want to have those descriptions in there or you can use these as part of a continuous integration for automated builds. Um, you also have these other special methods in here with these attributes called test fixture setup. So this code will be, like it says, run for a suite of tests and then this is run after the entire suite is finished and the suite meaning this test class is not the entire test project. Um, and then you also have setup and teardown. This is run before each test. So you can see we have this nude up before each test is run and then nulled out whenever it's it's done. So we have a test in here. You can see that we have um, we're cloning, we're creating a mock data set, then we're cloning it, and then we're comparing it. So we've got a couple different ways that we're comparing things in here. So you got the, so we got is false. It's doing a lot of different asserts in here. So um, that's all that I have for right now. Thank you for watching the video. We have several products. One in particular would probably be of great value to you. We have a free NUnit uh, quick reference sheet which you can download on our site. Um, we also have an NUnit test generator which will take uh, any regular class and then generate NUnit stubs for it and it's template based so you can alter it. Uh, we also have several other components that you um, might want to take a look at. You can go to our website www.kellermansoftware.com. All right, thanks a lot.